I didn't feel good about leaving. Um, I had to leave because my, I was basically <laughs> being threatened with being fired if I stayed for, for much longer. Do you have any fashion or packing regrets from your time in the franchise? I didn't have any money when I went on. And so I borrowed like all of my dresses from my 40 year old sister. Um, which I don't, I like, I like those dresses, so I don't necessarily have regrets, but it is funny because now um, I've got a little bit more money, I've shopped much more. I didn't, I didn't feel like when I went on, I had any real sense of style. I was just kind of doing my best. So it's not so much a regret, but like, I don't know. I, I, I wish that I had been able at the time to have some more fun with clothes. Okay, fair. Instead of I looking mean, like a 40 year old. <laughs> you know what? It, that's that's interesting. Good foresight. I mean, we're good, like, reflection. Um, um, do you regret anything about how you pursued Ari? Either wish you were more aggressive, less aggressive, how you handled yourself in the romantic aspect of the show? No, I think we had a good, I think we had a well-paced romance. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I actually think, I mean, the airtime was cut, right? But like, I did put a lot of effort doing fun things together. I thought we had a lot of physical chemistry and um, like a friendship and, and a lot of laughter on top of that. So I thought we were good. You had a one-on-one -on -one in Paris that I think mm -hmm. I read you, like producers help you like plan, like you helped them plan it or something, right? In a sense, yeah. Which like if you pick a restaurant or something, that's cool. I had said basically like, can we please have a free day in Paris? I really want to go to Maxime's. It's this restaurant from one of my favorite movies and it's, you know, I and I kind of told them a little bit of the, the movie and so they recreated that scene. Very cool. Um, do you regret quitting Ari season? That is personally my favorite move. I love when <laughs> a contestant on either show quits. Um, I yeah. just think it's like a power move. Um, can you tell me a little bit about what you remember quitting Ari season? Do you regret it? It's I, I can't regret it because, it, again, the gamble paid off, but I did struggle with this for a really long time. And sometimes when I remember it, it's like, ugh. I didn't feel good about leaving. Um, I had to leave because my I was basically <laughs> being threatened with being fired if I stayed for, for much longer. I kind of wish I'd pushed that a little bit more because at the time I just like wasn't ready to say goodbye. I was really loving the experience, Ari, and I just had that one-on-one -on -one and made that connection. And so he had said things when we were breaking up like, you know, well, would it, would it make it different if I gave you another one-on-one? -on -one? Like he was, you know, trying to get me not to leave and then sort of offering these things. And I kind of wish I had I had done that, like gone on one more one-on-one -on -one just to make sure. But ultimately it's like, from this vantage point, I'm getting married, I'm at Duke, I, my life has moved on. And so I can't really regret what happened. I just, it just caused me a lot of grief at the time. Mm, a lot more to like, what if to deal with at the time, even though yeah. you're happy, you, you know, are obviously happy now and you probably didn't take you as long as you may have thought to recover from the thing, but it is like a what if situation right. that makes it harder for sure um do you regret the the, the make out with the leaving i heard there was a lot of talk <laughs> for this like they're they're you're breaking up you're leaving but there was definitely like an intense make out moment like, right before you left no <laughs> there I, I, think, I mean i think you know ari and i we had a good we had a good connection and i, I didn't want to be leaving you know, I think what was hard was that I had a specific reason for leaving and the producers would not let me tell him what that was. And so I went in really conflicted about how to do this because I basically had to say, you're not the one, which was basically true. Like I kind of knew that, but it's not what I necessarily felt at the time. What I felt was I want to keep dating you. I really like you. Um, and so to be cold in that moment just didn't fit how I was thinking. Like I was really up about breaking up. And so that breakup was really like two people who didn't want to leave each other. There was a ton of confusion because I couldn't tell them the whole truth. Mm. And it was like a really tender, intense breakup. And I think like whenever people watch the show back, they're like, oh, there's a right way to break up with someone. There's a right way to, to tell them you love them or whatever. And it's really not like that in real life, so. Fair. Very fair. Um, do you regret any tears shed <laughs> you're during your time on The Bachelor or Bachelor in Paradise? I, I cried a lot. I cried a lot. Actually, in the scene, uh, in the unedited, that's in quotes, scene of Ari and Becca breaking up, they used audio from me crying to make it seem like she was crying much harder than she was. No freaking way. So yeah, so I did cry a lot. 
Um, I don't know. I don't really like regret anything. I mean, it was a little bit melodramatic, I guess, but I, I felt like there was a culture of crying. Like you were expected to cry. You were like encouraged to cry. And actually I remember in the beginning, I cried really early, like week one, and I was dragged into a producer ITM and I got really mad. I was like, I don't want to be that girl who cries this early on. It makes me look pathetic. And like the next week, I was feeling like I wasn't emotional enough. And so I was really proud when I cried. I was like, let's go do that ITM now. We're ready. Oh my <laughs> so. God, what a, what a mind game. Exactly. Yeah. Ooh, that's tough. Um, all right, Bachelor in Paradise. Do you regret asking Colton out on a date in Paris? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Care to expand? <laughs> You know, Paradise was just such a flop for me. Like, I went on, I was not interested in any of the guys, and they were all paired up. So they just sent me like four guys to talk to. Okay, they sent me Eric Bigger, who's already dating Angela. So that was a no-go. They sent me David, who I just really did not like very much. And he was dating Chelsea, who's a friend of mine. So I was like, no. The last three people were Colton and Kenny. And I remember just being like, I'm definitely never going to date either of these people seriously. I'm I get, like, I've, I had more fun talking to Kenny, but I felt like maybe more attracted to Colton, which is funny to say in retrospect. Um, You're not so alone there. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I, I don't know. I liked, he, he was like going through a hard time and he was kind of opening up and I, I even liked that aspect of him opening up, but I was told Oh my god. I was told by Kendall and Jenna that Colton was available and that I should ask him. So well, that's why I went in, but was. I was it like... It was just that weird Tia lingering yeah, stuff. Right. And he was just like spinning majorly out. So I kind of, when I asked him, I was kind of like, are you available? Like, I'm not really sure what your deal is. And then he said no. So I didn't love that. And then I didn't like how that made Kenny feel or how that must have made Kenny feel. So yeah, it just start off, started off on a really bad foot and then went downhill from there. <laughs> Do you regret going on Paradise overall or happy you at least tried it out? I think I would have been wondering and torturing myself a lot if I hadn't gone, but part of me does regret it because it was just like, it was a kind of a pointless experience. Fair. I mean, you can tell you did it. You went to the beach, you saw the crabs. I don't right. know. Um, I also, when looking back up some of the stuff from, you know, that time, you, you, the same way you just kind of exposed the Becca crying, you were like, said that they used your lines about Ari about Kenny. They did. That was really irritating because I had actually a great time with Kenny. I just like wasn't, I don't know, our lives were so different and it was so, like, super clear that I wasn't going to move to Vegas and like be a stepmom and yeah. it, there just, there weren't, there wasn't any like legs to the romantic component, but we had a really good time. And I guess in my ITMs, I just wasn't saying anything romantic enough. And so they just pulled audio from my date with Ari, which you know, I'm like annoyed, I guess, that that created a false picture, but I'm also kind of, there's part of me that really wanted that time with Ari to be special and to use those quotes somewhere else just felt, it just annoyed me. Like, yeah. no, that, I meant those things when I said them about somebody else. Why would yeah. you take them? Did you get in trouble for, for sending that tweet? No. Nice, no. all right. <laughs> um, and my last question for you, which I, I assume the answer is probably no, but are you surprised that Ari and Lauren are going strong, two kids, three kids after that crazy ending and just, I don't know, everything, anything you said. Was it obvious to you that maybe Lauren was the one or were you surprised about anything played out and how it is now? So the funny thing is we, I think people in retrospect are like, oh yeah, totally. We all knew it was Lauren, but I don't think that was true. Lauren didn't get her one, her first one-on-one -on -one until the week I did, which was very late. Right. So I wouldn't say that there was any like direct evidence that she was going to be the front runner. I did feel as though she was his type and I felt like I was predicting Lauren over Becca okay. at the end. But I've since spent time with them. I mean, I was at their wedding and their um, bridal shower and some other stuff and they just have really strong chemistry and get along really well. So um, yeah, I'm not surprised that their marriage is successful.